Our tray is not playing. I keep telling y'all that they just not playing. Between the colors, the hairlines, the transparent lace, they are really mixing it up and they are taking the synthetic wig game to a whole other level. You know, once people see the price tag on some of these wigs, they're like, girl, no. This one here is worth it. So come on in, take a seat, get your cup, and sip this tea. Hey you guys, so this is the wig that we have today and it's by Altre. The name of it is Ariella and I have it in strawberry gold. This is from their Perfect Caroline collection and it is a 13 by 6. So I have the color that's on the model, you guys. Can we take it in? It is gorgeous. I absolutely love this color. This is the reason I wanted this wig. So these are a little bit of the wig features in the back. This is the care card that comes along So with this the is wig. the box that it comes in and if you are a lady that like to keep your boxes, you will love their boxes. Um, because it's very sturdy so I had to freeze this you guys I wanted you to see how transparent the lace is they are getting so much better when it comes to the transparent lace so you do get your three combs you get all that part in area you do get a strap in there now that strap is not adjustable but it does help keep the wig down to make it glueless and you do get an open cap so what I did is I went in first with a black cap on so that you can see that you can see the cap underneath there so that was not going to work the next thing I did was just take it off and I went in um, and put the wig on to see how it was going to look and to see how it fit it fit really really good obviously I had to tint it so I went in with some of my physicians formula powder and I tinted it with that I didn't use the spray because I just wasn't sure I didn't want it to be too too dark so now I'm rechecking it just to see you know how it looks so I'm gonna pin it up and then I'm going to see how far down it comes now this lace is perfect on this one I know before they had it where the lace was too long but this one here the lace is perfect so we're gonna go in and spray it with some of the free spray that's just to get some of the um, edges to be pushed back it is pre plucked and to me it's plucked enough to my liking so what I did here is I cut it into four sections and then after you do that then you can kind of go along that hairline and you can kind of mold it how you want it so you guys know the struggle I sound like a broken record my edges come out so I have to pull the wig all the way up and then I try to pull it to where my edges are and then I'll start and then after I figure out where my edges is going to be, I'm creating a new edge with the wig. So as you see, I only had to go up and cut a little bit into the wig. It's not like the other ones were in the um, collection. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to pull out a couple of hairs. Only a few of them, you guys. You only need a few. Now because of my skin um, complexion, this hair slightly blends in with it. So I'm trying to pull out enough so that it will be able to be swooped back into the wig and not be too dramatic as it's sitting on my forehead and on my sides. So I'm going to use some of my bed head and again I'm just going to start with some warm air and some cool air um, just to get it to lay down. I love these combs and I love pushing the combs back and combing back as I spray it because it gives it a more natural look. This lace literally melted into my hairline when I put that bed um that bed head on there you guys I love, I, um, this, love this stuff so much because as soon as you spray it it literally helps that lace melt so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the got to be glued spray I feel like that spray holds it a little harder to me um, but it just makes the crust so I only put a little bit of that on there so now we're gonna work on the edges a little bit I did use some got to be glued um, gel I used the one in a black bottle and then I used a little bit of mousse and then we're just gonna mold them now like as you can see this hair does blend in with my skin tone a lot so I did have to go in and um, play around with it now what I'm showing you guys here and I left this in to show you is that I had makeup on the makeup was getting all into this hair so when you go to do this if I were you I would wait to put my makeup on and put it on afterwards because other than that you have to like you know clean it up so that's what I'm showing you I did tie my hair up and then I went in with a little bit of powder just to get rid of um, the shine and to bring it all together. This is the final look and you guys, this wig is everything. Let's get into my pros and my cons. Hey guys, so this is the final look for Miss Ariella and I will tell you guys right away, I absolutely love this wig so if this is you guys first time joining me on the channel thank y'all so much returning subscribers and youtube babes hey girl hey and to all my new subscribers i 
see y'all. I see y'all. We have come up, okay? The numbers have come up. I want to thank y'all so much for subscribing to the channel and for just liking and commenting on the videos. I really, really, really appreciate it. So what we going on, what's going on today, girl, is these new wigs from Altre. Altre is not playing. I keep telling y'all that. They just not playing. Between the colors, the hairlines, the transparent lace, they are really mixing it up and they are taking the synthetic wig game to a whole other level okay so let's go ahead on and get into miss ariella first of all when i seen this model look at this when i seen her i was like i gotta have this color oh so, like i said i absolutely love the wig um this wig specs i'm sure i gave it to you guys already you do get a nice 13 by 6 which i love 13 by 6 because it gives you so much party area you do get hd um transparent lace it says you don't need to pluck i did not pluck um other thing is this color the color of this is strawberry gold and i'm telling you i love the color they had me at the strawberry gold so pros and cons to this cons to this the only couple cons i have is really not cons it's going to really be preferences and that's just because the color the color i purchased this strawberry gold or whatever um you know because of the transparent lace you can see your caps underneath so i had to go in without a cap you're going to have to get really strategic when it comes to melting the lace the lace on this melts really good but if you have like really dark hair or you know you want to put a cap on with it or something you may end up seeing that cap in here somewhere now i saw my cap right at the beginning so i ended up taking it out and um and i just put um the wig on without it other than that and i'm i'm serious you guys other than that my girl other than that other than that my guy <laughs> this wig is flipping perfect <laughs> into my pros i'm so 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 excited pros on this this color if i would have had to dye some bundles or something i wouldn't have made it all this even color beautiful yes the color is everything screams fall screams you know just just it's just everything i absolutely love this color next thing is the curl pattern i'm not a curly girl but the way they have been doing their units lately outre outre y'all i love the curl pattern on this i love the length the way they've done it is you do get nice curls but the curls that come on here is not too poofy and it's not too much it's like the perfect amount of curls meant to the perfect amount of volume that comes with it love it love it love it and let's just jump right into this pardon area and this hairline girl look at that look at that and i'm not i'm not doing any any kind of camouflage in here that's just the, that's just the hairline okay that's beautiful i don't care what anybody say that is gorgeous look at that okay it definitely gives you a human hair feel when it gets to the hairline well all i had to do and you guys saw i sprayed this wig and i played with it and, and took my time between cool air and warm air to get it to lay down it literally melted i feel like i could have tinted it a little bit more um or whatever but you know i'm always afraid to use the evelyn new york spray so much because sometimes the um spray it like tints it too much for me so i'd rather go in with some powder that's what i ended up doing because i didn't want to mess it up and have to wash it to get the spray off but you guys this hairline is everything okay i love a, a flip over oh take it in <laughs> just take out this in girl girl this is so cute i am in love with this hair and with this color cap construction this it, it doesn't feel like i have a wig on it comes long but outre outre you guys were listening you only have to cut up just a little bit to get into the cap to get it over your ears before the um once they came out with before you had to cut like a lot to get into there so if you are not familiar with cutting and don't know how to really like cut around your ear this is easy as you seen all i did was make like maybe three slits in it and then over here on the side i came and i just cut just a little bit up and it came out so good it has changed <laughs> It's made my day. This has changed my whole look. I like the left side part, so I like it over to the side. I like how I froze this front because it's not going anywhere. Love the length. Love the natural density and tips on this. She a whole vibe, girl. She is just a whole vibe. And the thing is, I'm not going anywhere. I need to be going somewhere, okay? COVID, die, COVID, die. I need to be going somewhere. Girl, because this hair is so flipping 
cute. So I didn't get any shangling or tangling as they say. I heard that term and I was just cracking up. I didn't get any shangling or tangling. Obviously if you play with it too much it's synthetic. It's going to tangle but no shedding and I didn't comb these curls out. I don't plan to comb them out. Um, I didn't even really finger comb. I just went in and I just you know just laid them where I wanted them. Can you pull it up? You can do your updos and your top knots. Um, I will probably take some pictures and post it to my Instagram. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I usually don't get into like the following stuff like that. Like, you know, like, oh, please, please come on with my numbers. But you guys, I'm really close to 1K on Instagram. And I do well over here. I really would like to get that by the end of the year. Can you guys like share your stories and things like that? So don't forget to just go over there and follow me on Instagram. I am really trying to get to 1K. You guys help your girl get there. Come on over, follow me and you can get those pics. So if you want to see it in an updo and stuff like that, go ahead on and go over there and I'm going to post some pics of it. To complete my review, thank y'all so much for stopping by the channel. Let me know what you think. Are you going to buy this one, purchase this one? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think this one here is like Yvette? Do you want a wig battle from Yvette and this one, which is Ariella? Do you want me to wig battle them? Leave that in the comment section below. Let's talk about it. Do we think it's worth the cost for this one? It's so much more. Or do we think that they should have kept it into the 40-ish, 30-ish, 40-ish dollar range? This wig is pretty pricey. I think it's close to the $50 range. I'm not really sure, but I definitely will leave a link in the description box below for purchasing. I have a wig on my channel. That's something like this color. The only difference is I want to say it's a middle part. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more reasonable than this but has this same color and feel, I will definitely insert a picture somewhere here and I'm going to leave that review below. So thank y'all again for catching the video today. I appreciate you guys watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. We are literally hitting goals over here on the channel, you guys. Please go ahead on and subscribe. Don't forget to go over and catch me on Instagram. And if you guys decide to share this video or any of my videos on your social media platform, don't forget to tag me in it. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or TikTok. The name is... Beauty Remark. I will see you ladies and gentlemen in my next video. Bye!